How about it, Lake of the Pines? And I'm visiting Johnson Creek Park. Welcome to Dude RV. Man, I sure appreciate you stopping by. I've been wandering around out in East Texas. It is December, no, I'm sorry, it is Feb the end of February 2021. And I'm wandering around East Texas. I'm out at Lake of the Pines. And I'm visiting Johnson Creek Park on Lake of the Pines. So I've got Little Red. I got the GoPro Hero 9 with the Max Lens Mod, and best of all, I have got you. So let's jump on Little Red and go check out Johnson Creek Park, Lake of the Pines. Hold on, let me get that camera seated. All right, cue the music. We gotta hurry. We got weather on the way. Apparently we've got a a Texas spring thunderstorm style thing coming our way. All right, we are out here in the deep East Texas piney woods, and man, I just I cannot tell you how how fresh it smells. Just love these piney woods. There are plenty of deer in this park, as that sign just showed you. I've, I've seen a dozen since I arrived about two hours ago. This is a beautiful little little campground, little Corps of Engineer campground. Super smooth roads for the most part. Man, you're gonna wanna come visit this one. I guarantee it. Of course, if you saw last week's, if you saw Sunday's video, you know, you already know. This is a nice one. We're, there are two parts of Johnson Creek. The first one that we're going to pay a visit to is the day use area, which is to our left here. And then we'll come back and go to the campground loop. There's a little tiny house. One thing that I've been very surprised by is the number of camp hosts here. There's gonna be at least six or eight campground hosts. The day use area is, you know, it's kind of, well, it's not that impressive. We have a boat ramp. It's a steep one too. So my boat ramp fans, I'm sorry, we're not gonna go too far down. There is a nice six slip courtesy dock. There you go. There you have, there's your boat ramp. But uh, it's not real ADA friendly. There's not a whole lot in this park that is scooter friendly. There's an amphitheater. I presume they put on shows there. I don't know. You got a group pavilion. Lots of day use picnic tables here by the swim area, the beach. I'll give you a better look at that on our way back since we'll be passing right by. Volleyball court that is closed for COVID. Of course, here at the end of February, uh, there's not a whole lot of people swimming either. Now there is one detractor to Johnson Creek Campground and that is the road. It's a very busy highway. We have a fishing dock that is not in any way, shape or form handicap accessible. There's a a flight of very steep stairs. Uh, 
All right, and there is your swim area again. So this will be the third scooter video I have shot with the new Max Lens Mod on the Hero 9. And that gives, uh, gives me horizontal stabilization. And the two, the two my, on my end, I really like the way they look, but I need for y'all to tell me, what do you like? Do you like it? Yes? No? Do you, do you miss the leaning into the curves? Tell me what your thoughts are down there in the comments. All right, now we're going to go check out the camping loops. Stop signs, as we all know, are optional for Little Red. So Little Red is red, and there's that red stop signs that, that, that just doesn't go together. So, breaking the law, breaking the law. Bring on some Judas Priest. There's a couple of hills that we'll have to do some switchbacking on. I know some of y'all don't care for the switchbacks. What, you, what am I going to do? If I edit them out, you might miss seeing Bigfoot. All right. Now the first camping loop that we're going to swing through is RV area number one. And I think this is probably the most family friendly, most family appealing because it is right next to the swim area and the playground. They're asphalt sites. They'll have a picnic table and a lantern hook. I'm pretty sure they're 30 amp sites. I haven't looked inside the box to tell. But it is literally just walking distance from swim area and that great big play structure that is closed for COVID. And here we have the beach. And when I was over here earlier, there was a great big, huge flock of pelicans of all things. We're gonna swing down onto the tent loop. This is one of three tent camping areas in Johnson Creek. Nice smooth asphalt so we can get some good speed going. One of the things that I find odd about this whole campground is there's not really any parking spaces. Uh, I, there's no place to park your car. I guess you're supposed to park on the grass. But most campgrounds don't want you doing that. What do you do? All right, this is the exclusive boat ramp for the campground. Now right there ahead of us is also a primitive tent camping area. And these are really the only parking spaces inside the camping area. Except for the, you know, a few right at the bathrooms. Now there's a boat ramp for my boat ramp fans. Now I spoke to a couple fellows that were down on that fishing dock earlier. And they said they haven't caught any fish in three days. So I, I haven't even bothered to unpack my fishing gear. Of course, I'm only here for one night. So you're gonna wanna stay tuned and subscribe because I'm going to Buckhorn Creek on Lake of the Pines tomorrow. All right, gonna do a little switch bagging and we're gonna have to go back up this hill because I'm gonna do all the RV loops uh, in reverse. Well, not in reverse. I'm gonna go the wrong way so that you can look at the sights as I go by. And I will 
hold my speed down, as frustrating as it is, we'll slow down. This site, this loop has a couple of pull-throughs, actually three pull-throughs, four pull-throughs. And this one right here on the left is my favorite. So this one right here is my favorite. But the site right here in front of us, that's my second favorite site. Easy water access. All right, back up that hill. Of course, with the new lens, Max Lens Mod, y'all don't see the switchback like I do. You're not wagging back and forth anymore. At least in theory, this is a... This is actually the first time I've had to switch back since I got the Max Lens Mod. All right, we're gonna visit the third and final tent camping loop. And it is, if I was a tent camper, this is the one that I would wanna camp on. Tent area number two. And I like tent area number two because it's just, it seems, it's not quite as steep. And the two sites over here on the right are just awesome. These right here. I think that's like uh, five and eight. Going the wrong way. Now I like these sites over here. These are all concrete pads, as you can clearly see. They're nice and level and flat and smooth. 30s and 50 amp with water. But of course, right now the, the water is turned off for the season. But if you come during the summer, there will be water. All right, and this is the loop where I am set up. Camping area number three. It's a little more difficult to get to the water over here. You gotta go down the hill, but it's still doable. One more to go. And it's a nice one too. There are four shower houses, shower and restroom facilities here at Johnson Creek Campground on Lake of the Pines. Now I have investigated this one that we're passing here on the right and found it to be very clean and dated it's been here a while but it is it is very clean nonetheless man this is just such a pretty park I like it I like it a lot in this campground in all the roads here in Johnson Creek campground 
car so smooth. Thunderstorms on the way tonight. <laughs> oh! Those are always so much fun. I know they're not as fun for you as they are for me, but I do what I can to make it fun for you too. If this is your first visit, I sure hope you consider subscribing and remember to hit that bell as well. You don't want to miss another episode. All right. For those of you who have been following along, thank you. I, I'm so deeply honored. That's why I do what I do. Taking you to places like this. All right. We're done here. Y'all come back now. You hear?